Hello and welcome. Today we will look at some top 10 Microsoft Teams setup and secret features you must know and configure when you are using Teams. These range from Outlook integration, voicemail settings, greetings and text to speech in different languages, whiteboarding, live speech captions and transcriptions, and easy commands for everyday Teams tasks to make your life easier for greater Teams collaboration. So let's go through the top 10, but before we do, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thank you. Share to Outlook is really useful when wanting to share chat information in Teams to Outlook quickly and easily. You can do this right in Teams and share information and conversations via Outlook. Let's take a look at an example here. So we have some weekly notes from Emma and we want to uh, distribute these quickly uh, to the company. So go to the top of the conversation in Teams, select more options and then select share to Outlook. Then choose the recipient who you want to send to and click send, simple as that. Self chat is a new chat experience feature within Microsoft Teams. It's helpful to have your own space uh, to store important notes, join meetings, etc. You can upload documents, you can create drafts and help to send files to yourself. It includes chat, file, organisation activity and the LinkedIn tab as well. People love to receive recognition for a great job or a moment of kindness that they've given to others. So here you can use Teams uh, Praise um, to deliver that to your Teams uh, connections in the form of badges. Connect to the Praise icon as shown. And we can select the badge here. We will choose um, a thank you badge to Emma for sending over the meeting notes in good time. Add a personal note to reflect this. Uh, we can preview to see what it will look like and we can then click send. Here we can see Emma's team session and uh, receiving the praise badge from Courtney. So you can review your praise history and what has been sent over time to keep a log of different badges, which is useful. Now we all love different views and colours, so let's see what these look like in Teams. By well, going to settings in the top right uh, under general, and you have these different options to change the theme from current default. Uh, so let's try the dark theme. That's what we get as a change. Now the high contrast, uh, which adds some greater depth to the view. We will also choose compact for the density and see what that looks like. Another good tip is setting out of office within Teams. So this is normally done in Outlook. You can also set here within Teams. So go to settings, general and scroll right the way down. And here you can click out of office. So let's turn it on, let's type a message and relays outside to uh, external senders, tick that. And we are not going to choose any time period um, for now. So this will also sync with your Outlook, so you don't need to set it um, anywhere else but here within Teams, so that's good. So we have many options for voicemail, let's check out some here. So if we go to settings and calls and the call rules can be set to uh, ring or forward or if unanswered, do nothing uh, or voicemail. We can choose a duration of how many seconds before redirecting to voicemail. So we would choose 10 seconds here. 
So let's configure voicemail, check out the various answer rules, and we will leave as default to let the caller record a message. And we can set the default language you can choose that the greeting will be out outputted in. For now, we will choose uh, United States and see how we record a new meeting with our voice. Main menu. To listen to your voice messages, press 1. To change your personal greeting, press 2. To repeat this menu, press 0. To exit, press the star key. So to change our greeting, we would choose 2. We won't record a new greeting now, but we would choose to change the greeting language from United States to English India. Click record a greeting again, and now we can hear the new greeting language change. Main menu. To listen to your voice messages, press 1. To change your personal greeting, press 2. To repeat this menu, press 0. To exit, press the star key. So we will now change the custom greeting, not with our voice, but via text to speech message here. This is great when you need to change the greeting quickly. So let's do this now and see how voicemail sounds with a text to speech by making a call. Hello, thanks for calling. I am unable to take your call right now. Please ring back later. Thank you. Please leave a message after the tune. When you have finished, please hang up or press the hash key for more options. So a message was left on Courtney's voicemail and we can see the voicemail in text transcription form. And we can also hear it in different speed outputs when the message is large. Hi Courtney, can you give me a ring back when you get this? Thanks. Hi Courtney, can you give me a ring back when you get this? Thanks. Slash commands are a cool feature and very useful to save time. So to see the long list, we simply type a forward slash in the search box. As you can see, these are the options we have. So let's type forward slash BRB for be right back. And this instantly puts our status as be right back without having to click the mouse to enable this. Useful if you're in a rush. Another is slash go to. So this gives us a list of channels to display for easy access. Also slash files is, is great to display all the files that we have sent over time so we can quickly access. So turning on live captions when you're in a call is very useful. So we can choose the spoken live language for the transcript and we will also record the meeting. Hello, how are you? Hope you're all doing well today. We turn on start transcriptions and choose our language. Then when people speak in the meeting, it's captured. Yes, fine, thank you. This can then be viewed at the end of the meeting so we can see the transcript and it's available for us to view. OK, so we can collaborate with people in a Teams call um, in a whiteboard session.
This is very useful, which lets Teams meeting participants draw, uh, write together and interact on a shared whiteboard canvas. So once in a call, we click share and then we choose Microsoft Whiteboard. Here we choose a new whiteboard so Emma and Courtney can collaborate. You can choose different notes, etc., pen tips and colours for drawing ideas. Emma shares a new whiteboard and takes a look at the different templates available. Here we have many options for brainstorming, problem solving, uh, project planning, etc. between teams. Let's drag a topic brainstorm chart to interact with as an example. So hope the video is useful. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive notifications on up and coming videos and within the channel. Uh, also, please comment below. So thanks very much, everybody. Take care and see you all soon. Bye for now.